Hi, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to over, overlap sections on Elementor. So the first thing that you would like to do, of course, is just go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually using Brave, but of course, in your case, you can use any other browser it could be possibly working for you. As an example, you can use Google Chrome, Opera, Brave like me, Word, I was going to say WordPress, not WordPress. Firefox maybe, even Internet Explorer if it's working for you. And once you go and open that browser, make sure to go to this URL section and simply type element, elementor.com and hit the enter button. And that should take you directly to the homepage or the main screen of the Elementor website. If you have an account, make sure to go to the top right corner, click at login, and you will find that page to enter your email, password, then sign in into your account or login into it. Or you can even continue with your Google account to get logged in into your account without any time wasted. If you don't have an account, click at get started here at the top right corner, or you can click on that on the middle here. Choose the design to start your website. Let's say an example, digital marketing for me starts with this design. And as you can see, they're actually ask you to pay for a plan. First of all, so you can start using the design. If you don't want to pay or anything, just go back and click at skip and start with a blank website and you can create your own. But as you can see, they'll even ask you for the same price, which is the basic plan. Of course, you can click on this or, or if you already have a hosting, click at see our plugin only plans. As you can see, there have the essential plan, expert plan and the agency plan. Each comes with its own features and price. So once you created your account or you signed in into your account, you'll find yourself on something like that, which is going to be your home screen or your main screen after you logged in into your account on Elementor website. So as I said in the beginning of this story, I would like to overlap sections on Elementor. So of course, we want to definitely just get into the Elementor builder. So if you want to start to do that, of course, you will need two Elementor sections. So of course, uh, once you place your two Elementor sections, you will have to give the bottom section a, a negative margin, of course, then adjust the Z index value to of the top section, and you will overlap your sections on Elementor. For me, I cannot do that at the moment because I don't have the Pro, as we said. So once you have it, you'll be able to do it without any problem. So this will be actually for the story. I hope you like it. Thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.